Good afternoon, everyone. Despite being born with a very rare genetic disease called Pompe disease, I consider myself very blessed. I come from a middle class family. I was fortunate to have two wonderful and supportive parents, the best brother a person could have, and also now a wonderful sister-in-law as a new addition to our family. Throughout my 20-something years of battling this disease, my family has loved, supported, and cared for me. I was able to finish school, get a job, and be a productive member of society. I don't think I could have asked for anything more. From my immediate family, all the way to my extended family and friends, I've always felt loved and accepted. However, as I grew older and got exposed to the world outside my family and friends, I learned that the world, or at least some parts of it, is not as accepting. I realized that I was different. My disease has caused great disability, and that disability made it difficult for some people to accept me as their equal. From the moment I stepped out of the door of our home, I venture into a world that does not automatically see me the way my family and friends do. There's a stigma or a perception that is associated with someone in my situation. I was taunted and teased as a kid, but as I grew up, the taunting and teasing lessened. However, other things replaced it. Some people would look at me with pity. They think that just because I'm in a wheelchair and can barely move, that I am a person who has very little work. All they see is the disability and not the person inside. One of the things that I feel bad about is that sometimes when I'm outside, whether it's in the mall or just outside the place I live, some people would look at me and instead of talking to me, ask the person I am with, Uy, ano ba yung sakit niya? Kawawa naman siya. They automatically assume that I'm not able to converse with them or answer their questions in a rational way. But I can. I'm probably the best person to ask about my situation. Also, I think I'm capable enough to answer their questions. Sometimes society has certain stereotypes about people. People with severe disabilities should be looked down with pity. I am proof that society shouldn't do that. Despite my challenges, with my family support and tremendous faith in God, I have grown up to be someone that I can be proud of. I have graduated from college. I am gratefully employed and contribute to society. I have done things that most people haven't. It took a lot of hard work, but I managed to make something of myself. God showed me through the countless blessings that He has bestowed upon me throughout the years that He does not see me any differently from His other children. He loves me just the same. Apart from my physical challenges, I am no different than most guys my age. I feel and want the same things most normal people do. I want to be a productive member of society. I want to be a good Christian. I want to love and be loved. And hopefully someday, to have a family as well. I want to make a difference in other people's lives. I want to grow old and during my final moments in this world, say to myself that I have lived a life worth living. I know that like other people, we all have things we want in life. I know and I accepted it as such. But like most people, all I ask is the opportunity to try and pursue my dreams. In some ways, parts of society right now are like the soldiers who gave Christ sour and cheap wine, as he yearned to satisfy his thirst while carrying the cross. Some parts of society treat people such as myself as those soldiers treated Christ by offering them half-hearted gestures. I look forward to the day wherein our society doesn't look at a person such as myself and see his or her disability. 
Instead, society looks at him and her and sees the person for what he or she truly is. A gift from God who deserves the same respect and love like everyone else. I look forward to the day where in society treats us as equals and offers us not cheap wine, but the same wine that they would have for themselves. Our lives are as valuable as anyone else. It might not be apparent from the surface, but when we look past the shortcomings, you will see the true value that is in everyone. Each person has a unique gift that is his alone. No two people are alike. Each one of us carries a beauty that is all our own. I am not alone. There are countless of people such as myself who either suffer from a genetic disease or something else that has changed their lives. People who walk this earth are a little different from most. We all want to be accepted. We all thirst for love and empathy as we would give others. We ask not to be treated special, but to be treated as equitably. We understand we are different. In some aspects, we need consideration. For those things, but for the most part, we are like every other person. We will continue to carry our cross, but we thirst for your love. Thank you and God bless you all.